One thing that's been a constant in personal computing has been that hard drives will continually get bigger and cheaper. So it's inevitable that you'll one day want to relocate your time machine backups to a newer, roomier drive. In this video tutorial, I'll be going through the process for prepping and transferring these files. Start off by plugging the hard drive into the computer. If it hasn't already been properly formatted, open up Disk Utility, which can be found through Spotlight or in the Utilities folder in Applications. Click on the hard drive in the pane on the left hand side. In the menu on the right, click Partition. From the Volume Scheme menu, select One Partition. If you wanted to actually partition the drive in some way, you'd obviously want to make a different choice here, but I'm going to leave my drive unpartitioned. In the Volume Information fields, give your drive a name and ensure the format is Mac OS Extended Journal. Next click Options underneath the list of partitions. Change the selection to GUID Partition Table and click OK. Once you've completed all these steps, click Apply. A confirmation screen appears to make sure that you want to delete the hard drive's contents. Now might be a good time to double check that you've got the right drive selected, especially if you've got multiple drives connected. This process shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Once it's completed, close out of Disk Utility and right click on the drive in Finder. In the menu, select Get Info. Scroll down to Sharing and Permissions, which should appear at the bottom. You'll need to make sure that Ignore Ownership on this volume is unchecked. Close out of the Get Info window and open up Time Machine and System Preferences. Click on the switch to turn Time Machine off. Next is a straightforward transfer of files from the old drive to the new one. Use Finder to go into the old drive and drag the backups.backupdb folder over to the new drive. If you've got a lot of backups, this might take a fairly long time. In my case, it took about 11 hours to transfer over 300 gigabytes, so you need to make sure you do this when you won't be needing your computer. Once everything's copied over, go back to Time Machine in your System Preferences and click Select Disk. Select your new drive and turn the switch back to on. Leave the drive connected to the computer, as Finder will need to go through and index the new drive. Again, depending on the size of the drive, this is a process that may tie up your system resources for a few hours. Once that's done, you're ready to go. You may run into a problem later on when you go to delete the Time Machine files on your old drive. Emptying the trash with Time Machine folders inside may cause an unexpected error message. If this is the case, force empty the trash by holding down the Option key while selecting Empty Trash. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links. 